else can help. And if you can find them, maybe you can watch the VT. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of The Vape Team. My name is Brian, channel of The Vapor Chronicles, and I'm chilling here tonight with my bro, Mikey motherfucking Loopy Vapes. Mike, <laughs> what's up, brother? What's going on, bro? What's How up? you doing? Mike, Mike's got a little channel on YouTube, and it's called Mike Vapes. Yeah, if you guys shit. haven't checked out my channel, look for me, Mike Vapes. I'm new, to doing reviews. I'm, uh, I'm a little slow at doing it, too, so bear with me, guys. Mike is being modest because he's the shit and everybody loves his fucking reviews. Yo, but. Brian, do me a favor. Just hit that shit one time for everybody. Show them how you do that shit. Okay. Cloudy. <laughs> I'm trying to do a little bit of that Gomez shit. So shit. Mike and I are hanging and you may notice that we're missing – one of our members of the team, BK, a.k.a. Buck Kickers, a.k.a. BK Baracus, is missing in action. So if anybody's seen BK, let them know that we're asking about him because he's not here and we have a show to do. So we're going to continue the show. Go the show must go on. Tell them the truth about BK. I'll tell them. I'll tell them. You know, he's afraid of uh, going in the helicopters and planes, so we, he's still passed out. He'll wake up soon. We had to medicate him, you know. Yeah, BK's been medicated. So I have some exciting news, Mike. What's up? Number one, I stopped at a local brick and mortar, and I got some Voop juice. Voop juice. Voop juice. It's called Voop juice. It's juice for when you poop and vape. Interesting. Yeah, it's called what is it? it's called Timbo. And what does it taste like? Well, they said it tastes like some sort of a fruit with like a cinnamon sugar mix. And uh, to be honest with you, it tastes more like like a churro or like a cinnamon pastry, cinnamon sugar pastry. But it's really rich. It's it's freaking tasty, man. I like it a lot. But notice, there's a little cutout on the on the label here. We're going to talk about labels later. I know you brought that up. Do you see what's clicked off there? No, I just see three. There you go. That's exactly what I was trying to show. Oh, congr hey, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No more so, sense. Good. If you hear me blowing clouds over here and the, and the camera keeps switching to me because you can't hear anything I'm saying, that's why. Um, what I'm vaping tonight, I'm um, vaping three different things. I have my dot mod, and I have a, like a 0.2 ohm build with 22 gauge in here, and uh, this is vaping really well. I've been vaping this tonight. I built it earlier today, so it's a fresh build. I'm also vaping the E-square that you just may or may not have seen my review on. If you haven't, check out my channel. I reviewed it earlier today um, with my silver k -Lanus which is my K-Fun V6 slash Atlantis clone that I always vape in silver. And I'm also hitting the Geeko uh, Vapor Shark RDNA 6. It's a 60. It's an RDNA clone sort of 60 watt, but it has no clonage on it, which I like. And I'll tell you what, Mike, I haven't reviewed this yet. I know you've, you, you were the one that told me about it. This thing is badass. I like it a lot. And that's it. That's what I'm vaping. How about you? What are you vaping, bro? Well, I'm uh, vaping uh, the Geeko uh, flask right here. This thing is awesome. I'm loving this. This dual 18650 and temp control is awesome. I'm loving it. You know what's good about this? What I like is that I could go over 40 watts. You know, with the DNA, you can only go up to 40. So I like it that these clones got a good chip in there and I could do 45 50 watts so yeah I'm using that with the silo beast I have uh, the Atlantis uh, nickel coil in here with some lupe motherfucking lupe motherfucking loopy uh, what else I got I'm also doing I'm also got the DNA 40 here I'm authentic I got the H cigar HB 40 and I have the subverter mini with the vapor shark drip tip Look what I did, Brian. I took the base, 
because the tank itself is a 23 millimeter. So I took the base off my Atlantis V2 and I put it on there. So it drops down to 22. You sneaky son of a bitch. Yep. So I got the Atlantis V2 base on there. And I got one of the Subverted Mini coils. Yeah, I got the Teleos with um, what's it called? The milk and the crunch mixed together. Awesome. Tess, you got to try it, Tess. I know you got both. Try it out. Another thing I'm using is uh, my white K uh, sub box. Or actually, it's considered the K box mini. I got confused. I thought it was the sub box, the device itself. Yeah, there was but some. There was some reviewer out there that was calling it the sub box. I don't know who he yeah. was, but yeah, I well, I thought it was the sub box because the box said sub box, so I thought it was the sub box mini. But it turns out it's the K box mini with the sub tank mini, and they're calling it combined the sub box mini kit. But this is the K box mini. So, and I got uh, I got the snap e-liquid in here the, what's it called again uh, peach iced tea awesome and then the final item i have i got the eye just two with uh the eye sub tank looks awesome together with some cereal milk kilo brian this stuff is good you and i talked about this so what do you think was 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 i Raising the expectations too high, or did it no, deliver? This is this this stuff. If you guys haven't had uh, cereal milk from Kilo, this stuff is badass. I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. We have a lot of friends in the chat tonight, there, Mike. Tracy, oh, Stephen Bruce is there today. Stephen Bruce, Lex Luger, Brian Sage, Tess is here. Yes, Tracy loves Jim. Vape Fog. Daniel's here from DJS, DJ LSB Vapes. We've been chatting on um, on a little bit of uh, – what the hell is that thing called where you chat? Skype. We've been Skyping because he's in a different country. So yeah. we've been uh, chatting about, you know, different builds and shit. And he's really he – know, he's got a lot of knowledge, man. His channel is awesome. Right. Um, Mellow Vapors here. All, all the people. Vape Fog. Fresh. I think I saw Fresh. He's on. Is fresh on nice. Yep, I saw fresh. There he is. Oh, speaking yeah. of fresh, can I bring something up, Mike? Yes, go ahead. <sighs> All I gotta say is Ben Driggers in the house. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Hit that shit for Ben one time. Two yeah. things. I almost whipped out. No, you... not not here. <laughs> that's, that's later for you. Um, I almost whipped out. I had this juice that I got that I didn't review. It came with some of these uh, tasty Badlands juices that I had, but they had this one juice that had um, caffeine in it. And I, I'm bringing this up for a reason. Last night, I was a special guest on Fresh O3's beautiful live show. And I hopped on at like 1045 ish. And little did I know, Big Lou was on. I knew that. All of a sudden, you know, uh, Trevor Jones came on and uh, Maestro Vapes came on. And there was a whole whole slew of reviewers. And it became a party. And at 2.30 in the morning, I'm getting ready to unplug from the live show. I think the show ran like three hours and 20 minutes. I got to say, first off, I wasn't expecting it. Second of all, it makes the vape team look so bad in comparison. We're like, you know, two pump chumps over here. We go for an hour. You know, people want more stamina than just an hour, you know? So anyway, if I look tired today, I worked a full day's work. I did that review, and I was on that show last night. So I'm doing this shit for the vaping community, guys. Nothing but love. But Fresh, thanks for having me on the show. It was an awesome show last night. Nice, nice. Okay, maybe we should bring Fresh on tonight, huh? What do you think, Fresh? You want to come on? I'd love to have Fresh on. Hell yeah. Bring Fresh on. Put away the sex toys. BK's not on. Fresh comes on. Mike, why don't you talk about something so I can work over here inviting people? Oh, well, let, let me tell you one more thing. We got a troll in the comments, by the way. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. He, he doesn't like you. I'll tell you that much. Who is it? Uh, remember Maggie? Didn't you ban somebody, Maggie? Remember that they got yeah. a feedback? 
Yeah, the, I don't know how they're. I thought you banned them, but the, I guess it's a different name now or something. I don't know. Are they that, commenting? Yeah, there it goes right now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And they're just copying and pasting the same thing over and over again. Well, thank you, Maggie. I uh, all I know is that your mom and I are extremely disappointed in you. So, whatever, keep doing what you're doing. We'll talk. We'll talk to you later. So, what should we talk about? Oh, we're, gonna, we're doing a giveaway, by the way. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the first official giveaway on the vape team tonight. Stay tuned tonight for your chance to win a brand new inbox EVIC VT, courtesy of Mikey Vapes and Brian from the Vapor Chronicles. So that's it. You hear that, guys? EVIC, baby. Nice. Good shit. Everybody's everybody's going off on Maggie. <laughs> Everybody, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here reading the comments. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, just ignore the troll. You think that's Maggie's it. BK? That's yeah, that's BK. By the way. <laughs> uh. That's fucking weird. It's probably BK anyway, for fucking with us. Uh, what do you want to talk about? You know what? I want to talk about. Uh, I'm hearing stuff uh, about um, labeling on e-liquids. I've been hearing they're going to be doing. Uh, there's a guy that's in the comments right now, Vaping Minuteman. He knows a lot about this. And uh, something about a cartoon characters and uh, copyright. Fresh. There we go. What's happening, guys? What's up? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Great seeing you. I'm I'm amazed you're alive after last night. <laughs> it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Oh man, we were we were at that late. We were at it late. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we just had more and more people just crowding into the joint last night. Uh, it's not normally like that, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about. Um, we were talking about health and fitness and fucking religion and politics. I mean, it was getting oh, yeah. sick. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my that's that's my shows, man. You just swing, you come in, and next thing you know, three hours of your life is gone. And some Fresh. girls trying to get Fresh, trying to get a paternity about, test. What's tell that? Me, tell me who you are, where they can find you. Let oh. know who you are. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, I'm Fresh O Three. I do. Uh, you, I do re reviews and tutorials and DIY on YouTube. Uh, I do a live show every Wednesday night after the reviewer's queue, and uh, last night I had TVC on, and I just, uh, like Trevor Jones, I'll always send him an invite. Um, there's a few people, you know, I'll just always send them an invite in case they feel like popping in, and last night they just all happened to show up at once, so <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty incredible, and uh, the live show actually went over four hours, man. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, four hours. Yeah, yeah, we were just. Well, you know what? It goes quick. Our hour yeah. goes like that. Oh yeah, it just it just goes and goes. It just you're exactly right. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you're having fun. Oh yeah, I was having a blast. I hope. Seemed like everybody was having fun. <laughs> nice. So, uh, what do you do in your channel? What's uh, what's your main thing? Uh, I saw uh, you on the reviewers queue. Yeah, uh, they had me on for DIYing. Uh, I make my own juice. I make like 90% of my own juice. Um, like uh, one of the juices I'm vaping on tonight is, uh, this is a, oh, it is a blackcurrant kiwi lemonade. Um, just awesome. After Actually, after we got off the air last night, I went back and reworked it, so this is a different 30 mil batch. Um but uh, I do I do a lot of DIYing on my live shows. Um, I used to do a lot of DIYing videos, and I started slacking because they take so much effort to to do. Right. Because every recipe you do, you wind up you know putting a week of work into it, and nobody nobody they they see the finished product. They see me working with like a five mil base, 
and then jumping it up to like a 30 mil batch, but they don't see everything that goes into it. Right. So, you know, being a working stiff like me, you know, it gets it gets pretty rough sometimes to do right. stuff like that. But are you gonna do? You have, are you planning on doing your own juice line or anything? Oh no, no, I just give the recipes away. Oh, Actually, okay. uh, one of my recipes uh, got made into a juice out here. Uh, there's juice in the house. Oh, oh, here. What's up? There he is. There's another <laughs> DIY. Uh -oh. we're, bringing, we're bringing all the players yeah, on. Up, nice. Nice. Yeah, is Maestro going to pop in here? <laughs> I'll see you guys at 2 a.m. Yeah, no kidding. No By the way, if, if anybody has speakers on, turn them off and put headphones on. Uh, anybody? Is that, is that me echoing? Let me grab headphones. Either Jay is so happy to be on or he's frozen. He looks really happy. Yeah, he looks very happy to be on or he's frozen. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, he's frozen. He responded. He's got a good poker face. That's like, <laughs> Shit is coming off the chains tonight, gentlemen. And we're excited. <laughs> I think he's working on uh, doing that whole freezing thing. There he is. There he is. What's up, Jay? Oh, he backed out. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, that was Jay from Home Yes, thank you, Jay. Thank you, there Jay. We go. Got some headphones. There we go. No, I'm oh, right. that's, that's, that's the real you that I love. <laughs> so but all, all the people in the comments section, please bear with us tonight. Um, it's going to be a little chaotic. We're trying to bring some friends on and have a good time and, and share the vape with each other. You know, one of the strengths that we have is, and you guys know this because you guys are all friends of Mike's and mine and, and Fresh's, this has become a hell of a community that we've got going. And I've been really enjoying all of you guys, and uh, I feel like you're family. So it, we all share, you know, the ups and downs and ins and outs of everything with each other, and it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's one of the that's one of the best things about all this is just getting to know, you know, getting to know everybody, um, and just realizing how cool everybody is in the community. You know, there's we were talking last night. There's there's people that are going to be a bunch of dickheads out there, but. You know, the majority of people you run across in, in these communities are just absolutely fantastic. Everybody's willing to help each other. Um, you know, and there's all, there's always going to be a naysayer in the crowd about what you're doing. You know, I vape on series boxes and stuff like that. You know, there's always going to be people that say, you know, talking down about, you know, volume vaping and things like that. But, you know, for the most part, you know, someone's like, oh, that, you know, that's interesting. You know, tell me about that or tell me about the juice. And then you start sharing. Next thing you know, they've got three recipes of their own, and they're sending you sending you some of their juice. I actually had one of my viewers send me some of his juice, and it's fantastic. So, Jay, what's going on, man? What's up, Jay? Go. What's going on, bro? Mikey, <clears throat> what's up? you're what's live. Up, you're live. Tell tell everybody who you are. Tell us about your channel. Everybody wants to know. I'm Mike's dad. Uh, <laughs> what is your mic stand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay from Homebrew Vapes, guys. Good to be on here. Brian, nice to see you, man. Nice BK. to see you too, man. BK, I wish he was here. But <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, wherever he is, we love him. Uh, when, I talked to him, to him? when I talked to him Monday, when I talked to him Monday, see, he said he was having internet issues, and the only way, because he was supposed to come on my show last night too. And he said he would he would have had to go to a bar and hit a Wi-Fi spot for it. So that's what he told me was going on. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he just popped in at a bar. <laughs> you know, yeah, it may have just been an excuse. So yeah. he may he may have gone with the intention. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> nice. So Jay, tell us about your channel. Tell everybody about your channel. All right, guys. So basically, I was starting to do reviews. I was going to try to anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I suck at reviewing, so I just stuck with what I do, which is pretty much coil build. So, And you guys have to excuse me because I'm sick, so I sound like shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Mike, you got one of my coils. I've been trying to keep up, and I've been actually kind of busy lately because uh, I'm starting my own juice thing. <laughs> I had another one. <laughs> kind of got 
talked into that. Nice. And just to keep the arguments down, <clears throat> no cereals, no toys, no cartoons. <laughs> just plain label shit. Your builds are fucking awesome. I appreciate it, man. Hands down, they're awesome. Yeah, if none of you guys have checked out his channel, Homebrewed Vapes, awesome builds. Uh, going on? Getting this thing turned on. Uh, no, I'm not drinking moonshine. I just got asked that over in the comments. It's just water, guys. <laughs> so what are you guys talking about tonight? Because I missed part of it. My internet shot the shot craps today. Well, we started talking, and then all of a sudden, uh, troll ended up coming into the to this, the comment section. And I, I don't even like giving these trolls the, the time on... Because that's what they want. They want attention anyway. Um, but anyway, the troll came in, and that sort of took us off topic a little bit. And then we decided that we were going to invite some friends in, and that's why you're here. And um, we, we wanted to... Mike and I had talked before the show. We wanted to sort of talk about <clears throat> the, the joys of vaping and how diverse a group of vapors we are. You know, like, we all vape, but we all vape different things, different styles, <clears throat> different flavors, different temperatures. Some people like cool vapes. Some people like hot vapes. And, uh, you know, I might sit here and say, oh, my gosh, this is the most satisfying vape in the world, and hand it to you. And you might try it and say, oh, my God, I can't stand that, you know? <laughs> yeah. And that happens I a lot. I agree. So, and, and, and even within ourselves, it changes from day to day, from week to week. I mean, it's an, this, that's the beauty about vaping is that this is an evolution. The industry is changing. Our flavors and tastes are changing. And uh, it's just, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. So if you could pick one thing that you're into right now, what would it be? What's the thing that's getting you to that satisfying point with your vape? Uh, actually, it goes two different ways because with my Sigeli, I'm vaping at it at um, 100 watts right now, 3.4 volts. It's a .15 ohm build. <clears throat> but on my smoke... I'm at 55 watts with the Freemax Star. Right. Both of them totally different vape. But Would you say 0.15 at 100 watts? Yeah. <coughs> Lightweight. Yeah. <clears throat> you, can, you can send that to me and I can dry hit that shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even fuck with those numbers because I dry hit way too much. That would kill me. Nice. Is your family home? Uh, no, it's just... Me, <laughs> good much. Good. Sweet. How, how about you, Fresh? What's up with you? What are you into? Uh, I mean, lately it's been... Uh, seems like it's almost all series box for me these days. Um, tons of airflow, um, but building for flavor is, is one of my big things these days. Is uh, You know, because every atomizer is so different. Um, You've got some that are like universally recognized as just being like great flavor addies, like the like the Derringer. Um, but you could, you know, you can take the airflow control ring off the off the Derringer and just get completely out of control with it, um, and you know, throw a super sub ohm build stuff like that in it. Um, and so, you know, I, I do things like that, and then I'll I'll work a, I'll work at different builds to see, you know, what sort of flavor I can produce, you know, twisting stuff up. You know, let's put some nichrome in. Uh, let's try a clapped in here. You know, just you know, mix it up and see. You know, what you can get every Addy to do. Um, but yeah, series box. You know, I, I try and keep like a series build, like 0 0.35, 0 0.4, somewhere in there, uh, just because I am pushing so much power through the coils. So, um, and then blowing blowing gigantic clouds as a result of it. You know, the the constant quest for flavor kind of led to this point. Nice. I'm still stuck at a .2 on. Huh. I, haven't, I haven't messed with no uh, builds, crazy builds, and all that. It's just straight up cancel. 22 gauge, that's it. 24. Yeah, no yeah. time to do all that fancy stuff you guys do. <laughs> Especially you, I'm you, Right now, I'm rocking on my Kennedy that um, it's a Clapton with a twisted, um, smoothed out twisted 28 gauge. And that sucker's, I mean, great for flavor, even at a hot vape. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
for Mike. Man, I need your help, brother. What's Which, up? I'm glad I got that shot here. So I got my Aeolus. Got the Smoke. X-Pro M80 Plus. Yeah. I went and got 24 gauge Ni200. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I'll just build a coil, throw it in there. It'll work. I can't get anything above a .06. And with this thing, I have the smoke, you can only build down to 0.1 ohm. So, Are you using temp control on the smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> Trying to. You know that the temp control don't really work on the smoke, right? <laughs> well, I know, but it don't work on my Segeli at all. So. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they've got theirs coming here pretty soon, don't they? Segeli's got their they're throwing their... They got a their mod out watt. there to see. Yeah, they got a 75 watt. I think it's being released uh, the next week or the last week of uh, this month. It's getting released. Uh, I'm I'm a firm believer in Segali. So, uh, I, I uh, me and Trevor Jones were talking about that at one point. Just we were we remember how bad Segali used to be, and then mm -hmm. the the 100 watt came out, and then. You know, the 100 watt plus came out, and these are top of the line devices. And then the 150 comes out, and just completely turns Segali around. So yeah, it's it's pretty amazing out, to see stuff like when that. When it came out with this one, that's where I think it really turned around because this one was. I the mean, a lot of people didn't like these lines, but the yeah. top of the device is fun. It's badass. The yeah. buttons, everything, the way it operates. Yeah, yeah awesome. I love I love the 100 watt plus. That's it's a go to, uh, yeah. right there with the IPv3. Well, the new, you see that I got the new IPv3 coming out, which is, uh, they're redoing the IPv3. It's the IPv3LI. Yeah. LI. yeah. It's uh, uh, 165 watt, upgradable to 200 watt with temp control. And they put a magnetic back door, and it's got the same body style as the regular IPv3. Finally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have to do it ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't have to buy uh, business card magnets and trim them so you can fit them in. Exactly. That's what I did. Exactly. It worked, too. Yeah, either, going, going either, down to Radio Shack. <laughs> we're trying to magnetize the metal yourself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Brian uh, does the MacGyver videos of his. Uh, no, I wish I had more time to do them because I like to do shit like that. <laughs> Let's see. Can't wait for 150 watt temp control. Is that what that was? Hank's asking about over there? 150 TC. I don't know if you could. I don't know what the. That's the only thing I don't know. The specs. Is that that why he's asking about? Uh, which guy? Hank Vapes. <clears throat> Can't wait for the 150 TC. Yeah, he's talking about. I think the probably. The, LI. the IPV. Yeah. That's one. Uh, it's 165. I think it's pretty sure it is. My yeah, problem, my problem with the IPv4 is they jam so much crap in it. Um, mine, mine, I got like three vapes off before I had to send it into Asmodus because uh, me and another guy were talking about it, and it ground uh, the ground on the 510 wasn't wasn't working because of all the stuff they jammed in it. So I. Uh, like the LI, I'll sit back and wait on a little bit, just because I want to. I want to see if any of those types of issues come up. But you know, they they try. I I think personally, I think they rush the IPv4 a little. Um, and now the issues are starting to come up. You know, the you get juice in your in your uh, charging point. Next thing you know, you're melting everything inside. So, yeah. you know, uh, not I didn't that that didn't seem well well thought out from the start to me at least. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I ran into an issue right away. Oh, Segeli has a 150 watt TC coming. That's what they're commenting. Oh, okay. okay. That, oh, I, I, didn't know, I didn't even know about the Segeli. Yeah, but there's no way that there's no way that that is going to have 150 watts of true temperature control. It's going to be like what 60 watts of temperature control, and then you'll be able to use Canthal for the other 150. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you have over 60 watts for temperature control, you're going to overshoot your, your temp. Uh, you don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it. It's unnecessary. That'll probably be like that Snow Fox. Yeah, yeah. Snow Wolf. Snow Wolf. Sorry, sorry, Snow Wolf. But you know what's going to happen with China, right? They like to compete with each other. So they're going to start doing now the, instead of the wattage war, it's going to be basically temp control wattage war. 
they're going to make unnecessary wattage, I guess, for temp control where you don't need it. I'm all about the make quality shit war. How about that? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. I mean, like a go-to device right here, like the the 100 watt plus, the IPv3. They're just these do not fail. You know, these are these are you know two of the most reliable devices out on the market. The 100 watt plus, the 150, and like the IPv3. Uh, you know what you're getting with them. You know exactly. You know once you get them, you're like, man, this thing is just killer. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what, you know what? Let, let's ask this question. I, this is a good one. If you guys had a dream that would be, or a wish that would be granted, what button would you want on your mod? Where would it be placement-wise, and what would it look like? Um, I can jump on that. I already know. Segalia 150 button. Uh, just right there. Okay. Just give me that. Give me that right there on the side. But yeah, that Segalia 150 button is is nice. So nice. Yeah. We should do the date review, uh, the, uh, or the uh, date, re or the reviewers dating game, and we'll have questions to ask, and then I'll, I'll answer for Mike because I already know what he's gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I like the Segalia 100 watt plus button better than the 150. But you also like. Well, yeah, I also like this button here. I like the placement of this button right here, fire button mm -hmm. right here. It's just nice, to just grab and. Yeah, perfect. I mean, yeah, you could, you could, yeah, go either way on it. It's you could even palm it right here, and fire. Oh, and nice. When you grab it, it's easy accessible. The button. Nice. <clears throat> That's really nice. Yeah. That's the H cigar, the HB40. I I love this button placement on here. How about you, HBV? Uh, for me, I mean, I love my Segele 150 button. The only con I got is the one thing with the outer ring unscrewing. But I haven't had any problems with the button itself sticking or anything like I've heard. So, is that threaded, <clears throat> is that threaded in with just a regular threading? Yeah, on the outside ring, I noticed on my old Segele 150 right here, I'd have to take and actually screw it in because I it got to where it wasn't feeling flush. It was feeling like it was set down in there. And I started turning this and ended up selling that box and got a new one, got the blue one. But, yeah, I love the button on this one and haven't had any problems with it coming loose on this one. Um, am I the only person on the planet that wants a device that has a tank <clears throat> that can sub ohm built into it with the battery and the and the chip? Am I, I, I just like, like, I would love to have a device that just had a drip tip sticking out of, like, oh, yeah. you know what it's I mean? Yeah, but something that's not just twenty watts, like the what was that Joy Tech one, the yeah, e -grip. one e grip or whatever. <clears throat> and because I, I love my e grip, I love the build box, but they just weren't satisfying and powerful enough for my daily V. You know what I mean? Yeah, if they had if they had like a 0.5 ohm, you know, fifty watt e grip, I think I think tons of people would be all over that. And that's you know that's the big draw on like the iStick fifty and the sub tanks and stuff like that. And it needs a modular. It needs a modular design so the tank sort of clips in, and then the, the uh, chip side. Already out. And, yeah, yeah. And, and also so you can access all the parts to clean them. One of the things is that you couldn't get inside the tank easily to clean it, and they had to be like fucking thirty-minute tutorials on how to clean the tank and stuff. That's not <laughs> that's not acceptable. Yeah. Um, also, the uh, and I know I'm going all over the place. I got a lot I'm thinking about. Inikin just released some information the other day. I don't know if you guys saw it about the new mod they have with the battery, the lipo batteries. Yeah. That. What do you think? Um, I think I lipos venting worry me, but your the size of them and the battery life you're going to get out of them and the power you can push with them, I think they're ideal. Um, but yeah, the venting the venting on a lipo is violent, 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 violent. Uh, it, makes, it makes an eighteen six fifty look like child's play. Um, I think this year you're going to see a lot of box mods coming out with lipo packs. Um, yeah. I'll be interested to see you know what the what the inside the box looks like to secure everything in, mm -hmm. um, and what sort of protection. Well, I, I know this. I took apart the new uh, Cool Fire Four. I took it apart and looked inside of it, and let me tell you something. That thing is over-engineered. It is really buttoned down. Everything is just the solder points are perfect. They're 
everything is just really, really buttoned down inside there. It's the best. In, it, I've taken my SX Mini M class apart, and the inside of the uh, Cool Fire Four looks better done than, than that. Awesome. So it's pretty impressive. Um, awesome. Yeah, I mean, well engineered. I mean, if it's well engineered, I've got no problem with lipo packs. Yeah, and it looks like, from what I could see, if, and for those of you, by the way, that are sitting here watching, it looked like it's take take this device right and split it down the middle with a track, and on this side you have like you know the the board and the chip, and you have everything inside here, and then on this side you have just a battery pack. Brian. Yeah. Brian, just look at my screen. You see it, guys? That's the rail box. There it is. That's what you're asking for. They already have it out. Oh wow. Yeah, it's that's got a nice. Battery and there's the tank. That's actually a Kanger. That's a sub tank inside the box. The Ooh. drip tip sticking out. Where do we get one of them, Mike? One, make some phone rail calls. Box. You gotta look yeah, up one. rail box. That's what it's called. Sweet. Yep. Rail box. Yeah. So, so anybody watching, uh, you can send me a rail box to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Brian, I got a question. Railbox sounds like a movie that Stan starred in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's executive, executive producing and, and Dirty Stan over his shoulder just giving him suggestions. That's what's going on there. Stan's Vape <laughs> Land presents Railbox. Railbox. Man, I, you know, I would watch that video. I would give him a million views just by myself to see that video. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, what were you saying? You had a question? <laughs> Guess a special guest star for uh, the Railbox will be uh, Derek the Anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty, Dirty's the uh, he's Dirty the uh, director awesome. of cinematography is what he's doing. <laughs> Dirty DeVoe, starring. Oh my God, Dirty Brown. I had him to me as a. I will rail you. Mail song. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and there's a, uh, right on time. There's Dirty over in the comments. Yeah, of course. And this is on delay, and he's already talking shit before we've even started talking shit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I got something. Brian, check it out. Mike? The Inikin, uh, that one with the lipo battery. Did you notice the device itself, what it was? No, I didn't. That was, I, the, that was the device that George was holding in his video. Okay. With the screen right up here? Yeah. That was it. And it looked to me that the, the two sides of the uh, device separate, and I think these battery packs are not only going to be compatible with this generation device, but in the future they're going to be, like, imagine you have your mod and you slide the battery off, you have a charger, you put it in, you grab another, you slide it on. Yeah, and they're custom colors too. Yeah, they're custom colors too. So it's, it's, it's definitely cool. Um, I know that, like, what was that super powerful LiPo device, the expensive one, the titanium one? Variant. The variant, yeah, 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 yeah. That thing hits like a fucking, you know, a ton of bricks, you know. So there's a lot that can be done. I mean, have you guys looked at the amperage capabilities of those lipo batteries? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's uh, that's why I said, you know, that if if they can if they can get the engineering down and do it well, uh, it's it's the wave of the future. You know, no more 18650s. The charging is going to be, it'll be what it is. It's going to take a day to charge the dang thing, but. Uh, it'd to totally be worth it because then you'll unplug it and walk around for a week just vaping on it, you know, mm -hmm. five five thousand ma, you know, something just tiny. So it's it's absolutely the direction it should go. They just need, in my opinion, they, they need to work on the safety of it. Yeah. And I think Anakin will, at least from previous devices. I mean, they've really uh, they always nail the development stage of stuff. It yeah. Seems. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Hmm. All right. Well, let's do this. Why don't we? Uh, it's twelve ten thirty nine, and I want to do. I want to do this giveaway. Perfect. But you guys, you guys can't win though. That's why I invited oh, John. Man. I didn't want to send you. Shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I didn't tell you. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me drop out real quick so I can jump over in the chat. <laughs> By the way, Fresh's channel and Homebrew Babes' channel are the ones donating these uh, to to the winners. So thank you guys. Oh. No problem. No problem at all. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, what? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I, pull that out of my paid, ass. I got paid today. Let's do this thing. <laughs> yeah, this device uh, is so surprising. I, cu I couldn't believe it came in at $57. I mean, 5,000 milliamp hour, 60 watts with temperature control and a tank. I, no, no, I'm sorry. Just the mod itself is uh, 50, $57 on my vape store, I think I saw it for. 
and I think WebApes has them for a similar price. What's Hold on the, one sec. What's the wattage on it? It's 60 watts. Oh, t- it does awesome. titanium, nickel, and canthal. It fires oh. down a canthal build to like point one five or something. It doesn't do what? time control on canthal. No, it doesn't do time control on canthal. No. no. Still, I mean, being able to fire down to a point one five. Yeah, and point zero six five for nickel. Shoot. Hold on, <laughs> hold on one sec. And a 5,000 uh, milliamp hour battery. So I know what I'm doing after the show. <laughs> I'm yes. already looking. <laughs> yeah, so this this is the um, racing yellow version that, that, that I'm giving away tonight. Gotcha. Um, it has a beautiful screen if this one turned on. I'm giving broken ones away, by the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't think this is charged. Anyway, it's got a beautiful, huge LED screen. It's got 5,000 milliamp hour uh, battery inside. And I've been vaping it for about a month now, and it is a super, super vape. So whoever wins, congratulations to you. This is the contest. This is on a delay, and you guys are going to be my eyes and ears watching the feed. I'm going to ask a trivia question about myself or Mike Vapes' channel. And the first person to type the answer, and as long as it's correct, wins the Joytech. Now, you need to email me at my personal email address or my... You know what? I don't want to do that because there's fucking trolls everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you Mike Vape's home phone number. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the best for you. Um, what, I, what I did when I do giveaways, I just have them PN me, and then I just go from there. P- what's a PN? Uh, private message on YouTube. Okay. You guys can private message me on YouTube. And tell me who you no, because then everyone's gonna private message me and tell me they won. Hmm. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it. Answer. I'll find you and I'll contact you, so don't worry about it if you win. There we go. There we <laughs> go. Um, okay, so here's the trivia question. You ready? Drum roll. Is everybody ready? Okay. Oh shit. Mike Vapes and myself traveled recently to an expo. Stan, you can't win this, by the way. I love you, but you can't win. We went to a vape expo, and we had a date. What restaurant did we eat at? Go. There we go. Very nice. So they're going to have to come. Okay, so we'll see the winner here. Whoever comes up first. Okay, whoever comes up first. You want to repeat one more time? Nope. One time. (laughs) And I'll tell you something. It was a nice date, too. We held hands for just a little bit. We did. Don't get jealous. <laughs> just a little while. Just a little while. Don't get no, jealous, no one, Dirty. You, were, you weren't in your hometown. No one's going to judge you. Nobody <laughs> knew. <laughs> oh, They're already claiming who won. Dan just wrote, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Hank Vapes won. Well, yep, Hank Vapes. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, Hank Vapes won. Congratulations, Hank. You won. Now, are you Hank, are you getting one of these in the mail? I want to know for a review. Because if you're not, I have no problem sending it to you. You deserve it. You know what? Well, Let's Matt, invite, you I'm gonna invite I'm gonna invite Hank on. Okay? I'm gonna Perfect. invite Hank on. Hold on. We'll let him bring Hank Vapes in. Hank Vapes, you're coming in. If send him in. Catch it. And if you didn't win... Oh, give it to the next one. That was Tracy Loves Jim. He's got it already, he said. Oh, he has it already. I think it was Tracy. Hold on, let's go back. Back on the comments? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Stop typing, everybody. Somebody wrote Burger King. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they were just they were just swinging away. They weren't they weren't even really looking. They're just like type every restaurant I can. KFC because I does can any, type it quick. Does anybody know? Okay, here we go. Hank was first, and then E Fizzle won. Oh, E Fizzle. Yep, E Fizzle. So congratulations, E Fizzle. You are the winner. E Fizzle. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite Hank anyway because he's cool. 
hopefully he's on my Google Plus, but if and not, the best way the best way so you know who it is, Ryan, is for E Fizzle to message uh, Brian on his channel. Go into the About section. You're going to see Send Message, and send the message there. Yes, sir. This way you know it's him. It'll be his name. Now, if you didn't win, you're still a winner to me. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I want to protect everyone. I have a few more of these to give away on my channel. So I'm going to be doing a follow-up review in the next 365 days with all the shit that I have to review. But I will be doing a follow-up. I will be giving away a few of these. And um, I, have a I have a couple black ones and some uh, yellow ones. So this is an ongoing thing. So good luck to everybody in the future. Awesome. There's Hank. What up? Hank, what's up, brother? What? How y'all doing? Uh, good, man. Who are you? What do you, what do, you do? Um... <laughs> I have a review channel like everybody else. It's the end thing. We all do. It's the end thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you no, also do a live show. Those. What's your live show called? Uh, Project Fog. Awesome name. Awesome show because I watch it. Yep. Saw you on there the other uh, two episodes ago. I and also caught the tail end <laughs> the other night. I walked in as you guys were saying goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, not, I'm that fucking asshole. Like, yo, what's up, everybody? And they're like, thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've got it already. So what, why don't you talk about what you think of it to the uh, E-Fizzle? Um, the temp control seems weird to me. Have you, ever, have you have had to a lot of temp it, control devices? Yeah, I've used a few, but I, it seems like I have to run it really high to get a good vapor. It just power reduces or temperature reduces uh, almost immediately. Mm -hmm. Like on the IPv4, I can get a good uh, a good vape at like 400 to 420. Mm -hmm. This I have to run at like 580. Are you are, now? Are you t talking about the tank, the mega tank that came with it, or yes. your own? But if I put something else, like I had the Subverter Mini on it earlier too, and I still have to run it high. But then yes. if I put this tank on my IPv4, I can run it back down at 420. Interesting. So it's, I don't know. Huh. Very nice. So, but it's good. It's good at 580. Right. Well, so. yeah. But it's going to dry head at 580 if that tank empties, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I do a whole show on me dry hitting at 580? Because <laughs> I already have fucking cancer from all the carcinogens I've dry hit. Well, you can uh, put all your clips together and make a whole show. <laughs> let me tell you something. There's a lot of clips. Whew. But, you know, I, w I, I wish I could say that it was intentional. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm not that clever. <laughs> Um, yeah, temperature control is weird, man. I, I totally see uh, as these chips advance and as they become faster and the programming gets more advanced and all, you know, because all this stuff is run with these mathematical equations and algorithms. As the speed increases, that pulsing effect that you get when it, when it hits that temperature, temperature limit, like I can even tell right now the experience I'm getting on this DNA40 chip, the, the newest version, compared to the Vapor Shark DNA40 that I have behind me, there's no comparison between how smooth it regulates the temperature compared to the other. The other one was like, it would hit that ceiling. It was almost like, whoa, it was almost like peak clipping with uh, sound, sound devices. Like, it would hit that limit, hit that limit, and it would go pop, 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 and you'd feel it pulse, you know? I don't yeah. want to pulse in vape, you know what I'm saying? That sucks. If that's what temp, temp control is, then it blows. <clears throat> this new stuff is just, it's easing in so much easier, and it's not... I don't know if it's pulsing so. F you guys know, like when you when you vape at like a low wattage level, and the and the device is using pulse width modulation, and you get that rattlesnake effect, and it's like you can feel the 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 the, the hiss going. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, when you, when you turn the wattage up high enough, it, it's still happening, but it's going so fast. The frequency line is going so fast that you don't notice it. Well. With temperature control, I think that's what's going to happen. I think that the sampling is going to get so fast and so um, accurate that you're not going to notice it as much. <laughs> Mike Vapes is laughing right at me. I'll oh, read the yeah. comments. Someone wrote a comment to you, Brian. <laughs> Did they? What did they say? <laughs> it was Maggie. Oh, I have special kind for you, Brian. Cotton shit. 
<laughs> Thank you, Maggie. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> maybe Maggie should win the giveaway. <laughs> you know, keep your friends close and your enemies close. Or Maggie, why don't you come over for a vape? <laughs> I love how Maggie types shit on my channel. Like, uh, what? It, uh, first of all, Maggie's some fucking hater reviewer that nobody gives a fuck about, and they're and they're hating, but. They he he comments on my other ch on my channel saying shit like Brian fucking contacts manufacturers and says I can't believe you gave this reviewer with less subscribers than you free shit like give me a fucking break <laughs> that's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life I'm a grown fucking man you know I don't play games like that you little bitch yeah well, anyway I Derek was your little bitch yeah right. So, <laughs> all I know is that the more Maggie hates, the bigger my channel gets, and the more popular I get. So, hate away, fucker. There you go. Fresh, I got a question for you. Certainly. Do uh, you know about, you go to with batteries, you know, like milliamp hours, ampage, all that stuff. Obviously, you run series boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with them. <laughs> okay, I just received a couple of batteries today. Somebody. They're from a company called Efan. I don't know if you've ever heard of their batteries. Efan, this company. Uh, I think they emailed me a couple times. Let's see here. Three point seven li. What else is on there? It's uh, um, IMR eighteen six fifty three point seven volt li dash mn three thousand milliamp hour battery. It's three thousand milliamp. Yeah, three thousand. Max pulse discharge current is 60 amps. Max okay. continuous discharge current is 40 amps. 40 amps? Yeah, 40 uh, amp, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Is that possible? Uh, sure, it's possible. Is it, is it something that some little company over there came up with? No. Um, the amount of money that goes into putting putting together a battery is is ridiculous. Um, and some little company that didn't have like a huge rollout, um, <clears throat> and you know every every big reviewer got a crate of them, stuff like that. Uh, I don't I don't I don't believe the I don't believe the 40 amp. Uh, I don't believe the 3000 ma. Um, I'll believe the 3.7. <laughs> right, right. So how do you uh, think, how would I go about testing this? I mean, the milliamp hours. Hmm. If I totally drain this battery and put it, I got the the Luke V4. It tells me when I charge it how many milliamps it's put in there. You know the charge. Yeah. So I can, I've got I can, I'll get a judgment on the the hours. But the ampage, how would I be able to figure that out? If it how is, would you be able? Um, you'd have to get a battery testing rig. You'd have to go through someone like Beyond Vape to get something like that. Um, mail mail some to somebody like Pegasus and see if he does something like that. Um, you could you could always uh, I know I know a lot of people don't like the guys over on the e-cigarette forum. What do they call them? The flashlight chasers or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. uh, the battery experts over there. I'm sure somebody over there has already gotten their hands on them and that has already run the test. Right. And they'll let you know exactly what that thing can and can't do. Right. Yeah, I did a search on Google for them and uh, nothing. Usually it would come up if they've talked about this battery. Yeah. Uh, this battery is not even released yet. Yeah. If I if I had to guess, it's a it's a rewrap of uh, like a like an LG. Um, you're probably your max your max discharge is probably going to be 35 or 40. Um, probably running between 20 and 25. And your ma would be if 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 it's if it's a good quality battery, your ma will creep upwards of 2,000. But um, about a battery like that. Claiming all those things, I, I I wouldn't believe it. Not without, like I said, a huge rollout and people, you know, flipping out. Right, right. All right, cool. Thank you for that. No problem. Yeah, like basically the only test I did was the is to see how many I'll drain them and charge yeah. them up and see what they fit in there, so I'll know at least that I'll get an average yeah. on that, but for the ampage. Yeah, I'd I'd say if I if I had to just take a wild guess, we're probably gonna pull like twenty five hundred something like that. That's that's pretty standard for you know the rewraps coming out of China right now. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, um, I, I got I to gotta do a, a little bit of uh, BK role play in memory of him tonight. Uh, I have to take a piss, so excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pee break. All right, everybody, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite batteries you use? Uh, my favorite batteries are the uh, Samsung 25Rs. Uh, right, right now, you're not going to beat a 25R. Uh, especially when you slap those things in a regulated device, like the IPv3 or something, they just last forever, forever. Right. You're, yeah, you you can vape, you can vape 70, 75 watts. You know, you can push that for eight hours on 25 hours, easy. Yeah, that's what I've been using on most of my stuff. I've been using that, and I've been using the the yellow uh, LG HE4s. Yeah, great batteries, great batteries. Been using these too. Yeah, I, if I recall correctly, like MXJOs, if you can get your hands or rewraps of the uh, HE4s. So well, that's what the MXJOs are. Uh, that's what they're supposed to be. I so. thought they were the, the LG, the HE2s. That's what I heard. Right. The red ones. I thought they were supposed to be the fours. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? This is what <laughs> sucks with batteries, and all this fucking yeah. rewrapping and stuff. What do you use, uh, Jay? What's your battery? Uh, Samsung 25 hours, man, and he's right because I mean I've I've been vaping this thing at between 90 and 100 watts. I've got 51 percent, and I put these things in here probably about four about five hours ago. Yeah, and they're <clears throat> they're unbeatable in a regulated device. You you absolutely yeah. cannot beat a, a 25 hour. Right. How about you, Hank? What's your I love I love the Samsung. I have too many of them. <laughs> I actually, no <laughs> I mean, I've gotten rid of all of my older Sony's. Um, I still have two or three purple EFS, but I don't use them very often. And the rest of them are all uh, Samsung 25s. Yep. The only time I'll use the EFS is the, uh, in a dual mod. I don't use them on their own anymore. <clears throat> How about this one? It's an 18650, 3.7 volts, 6,000 milliamp hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it on the shelf just for uh, when my friends come over. <laughs> oh, man. I was a, I was, I'll, just, I'll just cut that one off. Just No. <laughs> no, that's not, not possible in that package. <laughs> no. Hey, Fresh, weren't we talking about batteries last night? Yes, we were. Yeah. I yeah, kept hearing, uh, every time I vape with, well, like, a new battery, I always hear, like, the Danger Zone song from Top Gun in my head, <laughs> you know, and my sweat starts going, and I get all amped up, because I'm, like, you know, I feel like I'm pushing the limit. Yeah, a guy in the comments just said that uh, Pegasus from, uh, which I saw that uh, video, too, that he uh, did the tests on the batteries, and uh, LG HE4s are batteries, better than Samsung. Yeah, that's it. Mike, didn't you get those new batteries? Or did you talk about that when I was in the bathroom? Yeah, I was uh, talking about these. Yep. Yep, yep. They're probably re-wraps of something. Yeah. Who knows almost, what? Almost all of them are. Like I said, they're setting up a factory to produce batteries like that, the amount of money that goes into it, uh, they, wouldn't just, they wouldn't just be doing it like this. They'd be rolling them out to anybody they could put, you know, put them, put them in their hands. So. Right, right. We would we would have we would have heard about it. Believe me, with the way batteries are these days, we would have heard about it. Have any of you guys ever had one vent on you? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. I I had a 25 hour vent on me two weeks ago, right in the middle of Project Fall. I was watching. <laughs> okay. And you were so slick about it, nobody even noticed. By yeah, the way, well, it's because uh, it scared the shit out of me. I reached over to grab my simple mod. And it about burned the shit out of my hand. And then I, there was, like, smoke coming from the button. <laughs> I just oh, man. I said, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Went straight <laughs> to the sink. <laughs> yeah, that happened to play I almost had uh, two batteries vent on me yesterday. What? Yeah. Really? I had a I device. You can see that. The 510 pin had uh, fell inside a device. Oh. Oh. And, uh, the batteries just got hot. Thank God I had the cover off. Yeah, and, uh, I just said like this a few times, and the batteries popped out, and I went to grab them off the ground. I, I would just to touch them, and they were scolding hot. They didn't vent, 
but they they started to uh, the bottom of the battery it started it like bubbled out a little bit yeah it was just if it was like maybe another two seconds in there it was ready to uh, would have started venting yeah well I hate to tell you guys this but you know this is not Fresh's channel and we don't go for three and a half hours because <laughs> <laughs> I have to re-upload this shit to my channel and that would take like 15 weeks yeah, uh, first enough. of all, I would like to first and foremost say fuck you, Maggie, and um, <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight, you piece of shit. And by the way, Maggie is a 14-year-old boy from overseas, and he vapes a iStick 20-watt clone, and that's all he has. So I'm sorry you're sad. I'm sorry you fucking vape, you know. Never mind. Anyway, enough for you. You're never going to be on here again, you fucking loser. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone else, because I love you all, except for Maggie. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Hank Vapes, much love. Fred, thanks much for love. Me. Homebrewed thanks Vapes, for much me. love. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, guys. And Pleasure. Mikey Vapes, a deeper love of a physical nature. So. Love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Have a good night, and we will see you next time. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Take it easy.